Hello everybody and welcome back to Simulator Saturday. Just before we start, do we should check out Machinima Prime's Dead Island Short, which is a shot for shot adaptation of the groundbreaking animated trailer and is directed by feature director BJ McDonald. Go check that out, the graphic is at the bottom of the screen. We are playing um, Ambulance Simulator, something along those lines, I have no idea, again. There's no title on the uh, main screen, but I've never played this game. I just bought it and downloaded it, and there is patches, of course, but we're not going to download because that takes up too much time. And we're going to go straight into the campaign level one. We got no XP. We got we got nothing. Let's play it then. Oh, oh my! Oh, okay, okay. Super sensitivity. Oh, welcome to Emergency Ambulance Simulator. In this tutorial, we want to show you how to control the game. Use the WASD keys to move around. To take a look around, just move the mouse in the corresponding direction. If you're in Ori, you can press and hold down the shift key to move faster. And for some reason, they wanted to go on another line. Oh wow. Well. Okay. Ooh. Nice and quick. Uh, ooh. Oh. In Emergency Ambulance and Simulator, you'll constantly receive new assignments from the Operations Center. The assignments are sent to you via the pager, which looks like a beautiful phone. You can also read a brief description of the job with all the necessary savvy information. Okay. Look, oh my god, is that a church? Incident, a man has collapsed during church service. He is responsive and is located at the church. Okay. Oh my god. Can we click anything else? Confirm. Now go to the vehicle assigned during the briefing. If you lose track, take a look at the take a look at the above left corner. There you can reread what you have to do. Drive to the accident location. <laughs> you can also press P to take a look at your pager. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Ooh. So I I think <laughs> we better get to the, the guy who's dying at the church. Um ooh, which one should I choose? Um who the hell are you? Okay, I'm not going to get in there with him. Um, it, dude, can you get out my car? It, hello, can you get out my car, please? Oh my, what a joker! Um, okay, it's as if we've got to get in with this guy. Oh, F, F. You're still using the WSD keys. If you wish to turn on the indicator, press Q or E. In tricky situations, you can operate the brakes using the space bar. I think you should use brakes in all situations, not just tricky situations, but... However, you must first start the engine. Press the M key to do this. So we've got all the keys, and then we've got M, which is miles away. Okay. Okay, this is good. So we've got Q and E... Make no sound effects whatsoever. Oh, what do I look like? Um, I actually look just like him, but with brown hair. He looks like he's holding on for his life. He really will be when I start to drive. Um, M. Drive your, drive your vehicle to the destination and an arrow appears to show the way. Okay, so we've got a little bit of sound. Okay, okay. So, there's an arrow on the top of the vehicle. Oh, Strict, tricky situation. Go use the space bar, which don't work very well. Oh, whoa! Gone down a dip. Let's see if we can. Oh, oh! Sorry. Oh no! Draw for a red light. It's green. Two wheels. Oh. Okay, straight on this way. Do we get to use, um, there is a general speed limit of 50 kilometers, well, I, I've never drove in kilometers, I drove in miles per hour, so, don't blame me. In order to keep your speed constant, you can accelerate up to 50 kilometers and press the T key. If this activates cruise control, which then holds the speed automatically, if you operate the brakes, the cruise control will be deactivated. When you receive permission to switch on the flash, flashing blue light, press the B key. The siren is switched on by pressing the R key. It's a flashing blue light is switched on. You're allowed to drive faster and drive through red lights. Okay. B. B. B it is. There we go. And was it R? 
Oh, here we are. Oh, yes. Move out the way. I'm coming through. Watch out, babies. Daddy's coming. Oh, beautiful time in the corner. Okay, where's this church? Get out my way. Oh, we've gone past the church. Okay. Tactical U turn. Can we do it? Oh, look at that. Okay, where was this joker? Okay, here we are. I'm at the church. Um, we're not broke, are we? No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, I'm here. So do I need to get out? After you arrive at your destination, you can then head towards your next destination. Okay. Francis, you can stay in there. I'm going to find this guy. Now, where is he? Where is this guy? Where is Matthew? We're going to go in the church. Um, that doesn't seem to be the way to get in the church. Um, hello? Anybody? Has anybody saw Matthew? Perhaps he's down this way. Oh, have they have they found him at the church? I can't see a single guy. Take a look at the patient. Where is the patient? Maybe this path's gonna lead us to the the entrance of the church. Is it? Oh, it's, it's windy. It's very windy. And we're coming to the church. And oh, oh, here he is. This don't look like he's in the middle of service, does he? Unless they threw him out the window. What's up, Beatrice? He, um, hello. If there are patients and you have to treat them, the injuries of the patient are shown by clicking the corresponding symbol. A window is opened in which the corresponding treatment is highlighted. Click this to begin the treatment. Oh, here's uh, Francis. <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling? Don't get up, stay calm. Hello, everything's okay now. I'm suddenly dizzy. My, my, my throat is very dry. My throat, my throat, my throat, my throat is very dry. Okay, um, check fight. Um, bleeding has stopped out of his um mouth. Splint the fracture. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't even know what's wrong with him. Um, Francis, you're doing a lot of stuff. Um, administer the intrafenous drip. I don't think we should do this, says Francis. Um... Check vital signs. I don't think we should do this, says Francis. Uh, oxygen. There is a better option in first case, says Francis. Um, defib. So we use the. That's the wrong approach. Man, Beatrice got a little bit uh, excited then. Fluids. Ah, oh, there we are. Fluids. There we are. Francis being as good as he usually is. Oh, oh no. <laughs> now you must take your patient to hospital. Check whether you have permission to use flashing blue light or not. This is displayed by your speedometer. I don't give a damn. Coming through, biatches. Beautiful shot turn. You saw that come in. The chair I'm coming through. The beautiful sharp turn. Oh no. Oh, I nearly. Let's back up a little bit. Go this way. We've got a joker in the middle of the road. This is how we do with jokers. Oh, get in the way. Oh, yes. Okay, this way to the hospital. 
And here we are. Oh, Francis is actually leading the way that time. What a guy. What a, be what a beautiful man. Drive your vehicle back to the ambulance station, then park the vehicle at the right location so it can be disinfected and prepared for your next call. You can collect your vehicle from its usual spot later. My gosh. Disinfected. That is actually what um, Francis does. He's the, uh, the dude who does the disinfecting. He puts on his rubber gloves, puts on an oxygen mask, and he starts rubbing the hell. Out of the uh, the bed, and then uh, goes to sleep on it for uh, an hour or so. And yeah, that that's that's really it. I, sh I shouldn't be sharing my colleagues' information with you. That's uh, what seems to have happened. Assignment report F failed. Apparently, congratulations! You've completed your first assignment. If you are successful, you receive a experience points. Collect enough experience points to be able to advance to the next level and face new assignments. You can advance up to level 4 where the hardest assignments are found. Wow. Don't park there. Do it. A beautifully textured bush. Where are you, buddy? Here you are. Um, one minute. Just going to have a little gone for this. Oh my gosh. Um, where? Okay. Okay. I got two questions. One, Beatrice, what are you doing here again? Who is this guy called Kevin and why is he on this magnificent seesaw with you? Now, this is a six man ride as you can see. And Beatrice, I don't think you're the type of person to be able to play this effectively after what I saw of you at the church. But anyways. Hello. We are from the ambulance service, so don't worry. We will immediately treat your injuries. Just look at how much it is bleeding. I'll have to throw away my clothes now. He just he doesn't he doesn't care that he that he's dying. Dying from a, a an injury to the Oh is he bleeding from the crotch? Oh my gosh, dude. You may have more problems than dirty gloves. Um bleeding has stopped. Stop the bleeding, is that it? Is that good enough? I would think so. I would think that's great. Beatrice don't give a damn. She just wants to see how the church dudes going on. There we go, Kevin. Put him in the back. Justin's in there. Beatrice is standing over the blood pile, wishing she could just be with Kevin for one last time. He's strapped to the bed because he has a left arm injury. Which, you know, everyone's strapped to the bed when you have an arm injury. You know, it's 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 hospital regulations. You hurt your arm, get in the bed. Hurt your leg, get in the bed. Your heart's exploded, get in the bed. You've lost an eye, get in the bed. Can't walk, you get in a bed. You threw up. Guess what? You get in the bed. That's how it's that's that's regulations. If you don't like regulations then you know don't phone the paramedics then. Cause they are regulation mad. There we are, just in beautiful job. Thank you, man. Okay then, this has been Ambulance Simulator 2000 and something. If you've enjoyed, do be sure to leave a like for it and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.